before we dive into the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe because it will help my channel a lot and I'll appreciate you guys a lot for doing so. Welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be talking about some new suits that we see on the CN server. But before we get started, I think it's right to address what I've been doing lately. In case you guys don't know, there is a pandemic that's happening and as a result, a lot of my school stuff is just out of whack and I was just trying to figure it out because my program is deciding to continue then after a bit it's just like no we're going to do it online but we're going to start Monday but then again they're like no we're actually going to postpone it until April 3rd like I don't know what's going on so that's why I've been kind of AFK because I'm just kind of dealing with this so I really really feel for people who are actually going into university or preparing to go into a program because I know that for my school people who actually want to get in they're kind of screwed right now because our program, you have to do multi-mini interviews before they decide whether to accept you or not. But because of this, they decide to postpone these interviews. So a lot of people are just stuck in the limbo of, am I going to get into school? What am I going to do in school? And a lot of my friends, they're just not graduating for now. Like one of my friends, they don't have a graduation ceremony. It's already been announced. And it sucks because you waited four years to get that ceremony, but now it's not even going to happen. Obviously, they might postpone it to a later date, but for now, it just seems like they're not going to have one. That aside, the boycott is still going on. I'm still going strong. Don't worry, like I'm not not showing you guys what's going on because I decided to sneakily do it on the side. As you can see over here, I still have zero diamonds for this charge set. I didn't buy anything and if you look in my mailbox, this was bought on February 22nd. That's why it's expiring on March 22nd. So already I had this in the mailbox, but it's going to suck because like, even if I decide to claim it, I'm not gonna get anything. And as you can see, I'm still at an odd time low for diamonds because I accidentally spent 150 diamonds on a pavilion that I already completed so that sucks. Yeah that's it. That's all I wanted to say about the boycott. Still going strong with it. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, link is going to be up there on the right hand corner and let's start with the actual video. So sorry for the introduction. So as you can see over here, this is actually a free suit that came to this Chinese server. And before we jump on the train and decide to get mad at Love Nikki for not doing the same thing, we will probably eventually get this. It's just that we are kind of behind in terms of lore, in terms of just the server itself. And a lot of times when the Chinese server gets stuff, we eventually get it, but this kind of leads me to something else. So this is not meant to be a hate video to our server developers. It's more of like things that you should know as a community, what we don't have compared to what we should have. And I think it's really important for us to know what we deserve because in the Chinese server, I believe a lot of times they get stuff because they ask for it. So for example, there is this event, it's like a tree planting event. And this is something that Chinese people celebrate. And because of this, and because they ask for it, the developers actually created like an event. It just revolves around the tree planting event. So this is something that we probably might get in our server in the future, but the reason why they have it is because they ask for it and they want it. So I think it will do us good if we know what we want. So I'm going to be showing you several posts and this is created by the Reddit user Fainful. He is called Isaac and this is his Discord handle. I asked for his permission to post this and he was very kind and generous and allowed me to do so. So let's look at the infographics he created, starting with this one. So four gods, has been something we should have had for a long time now, but we've been getting other hell events instead. Honestly, I'm not too mad about it because Four Gods is a hella expensive hell event, so my 2,000 diamonds can't even look at that. But we want Four Gods because they have amazing, beautiful suits, and I think it's just better than putting the lore out of order because they just want to put random hell events. And then this suit is a ruined suit that has not come back for the longest time. Even if you wanted to complete it, you can't because it just seems like they forgot about her for whatever reason. These two are very 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 cute fairy outfits that came to our server a long time ago and a lot of people want them because they have really cute background items, they have really cute makeups. It's been nearly two years since we have seen this event and we're still not able to craft it. As for humanoid source code, I'm just kind of baffled that this suit is still not back yet. It's been so long, again almost two years, and they completely forgot about her. I think she has a really neat design even though she's kind of wonky looking. Her mouth is a little wonky looking because that tongue doesn't really look like a tongue. But she is one of the very few darker skin toned outfits we have and I feel that it should just be available to us just to craft because that event format, please never bring it back. That was the most confusing and the worst event format I've ever seen. So let's just leave it back to crafting. As for this one, I'm surprised that the side kelpa is actually not available to craft right now. I thought she was. 
because I, like, I was under the assumption she was, but apparently not because when I tried to search for her, um, it was unavailable. She also has one of the prettiest makeups. I love the design and the aesthetics of this outfit. Plus her legs are just like legs for days. And here is another forgotten suit. I'm pretty sure she was a recharge, but she does have a separate pose item. Okay, so I was really excited when I saw her because I liked it. But at the same time, her pose is kind of wonky because her sleeves are kind of gross. But you know what? It doesn't matter because people like this suit and I'm not going to bash on them for it. Plus her makeup is adorable. Next we have this one and I'm also really really mad about this because I love, like I used to love ruined suits. It was actually my favorite kingdom slash island. We have barely anything ruined associated so it's hard for me to continue my support for it when it's just like there's nothing to support. And this was one of the coolest suits I've seen and every time it came back, it came back for a recharge and that recharge was so expensive like I just want to cut ties with this. So like the side kalpa, this is another suit that is actually available for crafting for other servers but please correct me if I'm wrong. I think that this is one of the most versatile suits ever because her hand pose is actually very useful and she has a really pretty makeup again. Like all these pretty makeup outfits are just behind a paywall slash in the vault. This is another suit that has been here for two years and she's also one of my favorite suits mostly because of her makeup. Her makeup is called breathtaking and girl that is breathtaking makeup because she has purple eyes and like this really cute blush. The whole concept of it is just adorable so please bring it so that more players can enjoy her beauty. And lastly, she is infamous on my channel because I decided to pair her up with the meme of barbecue sauce on her titties. I loved her makeup, I loved her concepts because she's cloud and she has blood on her chest and her face and everything. And I love Pregya Princess who is beside her. Her makeup is very versatile. She's beautiful. All these makeups are amazing and I was super salty that I wasn't able to finish it because I just couldn't handle the back to back to back stamina events. So I've been waiting so, 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 so long for her to come back and she has yet to come back and I don't know why. Not to mention, we have a lot of Dreamweavers that are missing from our server. Again, I know that our server is behind the Chinese server, but come on, dude. Dreamweaver has been stagnant for the longest time. And they've also brought back several Dreamweavers that cost diamonds. And it's just like, just give us the free ones. It's just fun to have like different items. It's fun to have more parts of the game to play with because now every time I log on, what am I doing? I'm just doing my dailies and then I'm logging off. Like there's nothing for me to do. I don't use the around the world feature because there's nothing to motivate me to use it. The go home feature is honestly garbage now because although they tried to add in the, the option to do commissions, getting a commission is the hardest thing ever because there's not enough people who want to commission and there's so many people trying to camp the commission market that it's almost impossible to get a commission in the first place, much less trying to get 10 because you need 10 to get like the max amount of rewards. I just basically gave up on this because it's like it's nice to have diamonds but I'm not going to be sitting here wasting 30 minutes of my time just to try to get one commission. Mission. Essentially, I just really really wish they would add more things to the Dreamweaver. It's just more things to play. I don't want to lose interest for this game. This game is my livelihood. I just hope that they treat us better so that we would be more happy playing the game and therefore we would be more willing to spend money on the game. It's a win-win situation if people are happy, right? So what are your thoughts of the situation? There's just so many things missing and I wish that our server is just more proactive in making it fun. Especially now when everybody's like in quarantine or when everybody's trying to isolate themselves because what better way to waste time than to play Love Nikki, right? So let me know about your thoughts for things we're missing on our servers below. I would love to hear them. So yeah, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, by the way, I'm going to be doing an Animal Crossing unboxing video. I know a lot of you don't play Animal Crossing, but I just really wanted to make the video because I'm super passionate about the game. This is going to stay a Love Nikki channel. If I'm going to be making Animal Crossing content, I will be making a new YouTube channel for that. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys later.